how do you build a business credit line from scratch you literally just started a business and you have like no credit history whatsoever how do you start building it right now on top of that why is this so important well we all know that once you have a business credit line established you can get business credits and grow your business now, on top of that there's also research out there that shows that 41 percent of the people that know something about their business credits are more likely to actually get accepted for a business credit line or any type of business loan type of stuff right but here's my thing guys if you don't know only one in four people actually get accepted to actually get a credit line or some type of credit for the entire business. So in reality, it's very important to understand exactly how your business credit actually works and exactly how to actually build this. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys 10 simple steps, 10 simple steps that took me about like five hours to get. And now I'm going to give it to you here in a 10 to 15 minute video in a very simple manner that only took me around six hours to get so you're welcome and like the video while you're at it because it took a lot of work to get this video done but in this video I'm gonna show you the 10 simple steps that it takes to go from zero credit on your business to a hundred percent credit on your history in less than five days okay I said three days in the title but it's really like less than five days so yeah let's get started and the first thing is this guys if you guys don't know me my name is Ty Bryson I'm an accountant and I post videos on YouTube every single day yes I said I post daily content subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell while you're at it really appreciate it on top of that hit the like button again took a lot of work to get this video done and I really appreciate a little like here and there you know what I'm saying and I want to ask you guys a question what would you do if you had a hundred thousand dollars of business credits right now available to you will that help you grow your business will not help you comment down below let me know what you would do with a hundred thousand dollars in business credit line now the first thing I want to break down is this guys well Tommy why is it so important for me to actually establish a business credit history and the answer is this it's very similar to having your own personal credits and if you don't have personal credits you can't even get a credit card you can't get a loan you probably don't even exist in this world okay I don't even know you bro, to be honest but here's my thing having a business credit history means that you can actually have money or have some funds there so you can actually expand your business or even grow your business but I do want to clarify one thing here I don't want you to build a habit of relying on other people's money to expand or to keep your business afloat what do I mean by this Warren Buffett says all the time you don't want to rely on other people's kindness to keep your business afloat for example if the only reason your business is still alive today is because you have credit cards and loans and business credit lines and all that fancy stuff then I highly highly recommend you take a second look at your business because in reality that's not healthy whatsoever so take a second look at your business because in reality you shouldn't have to rely on creditors or credit cards or loans to keep your business healthy and afloat okay just to clarify that and if you don't believe that relying on banks is not the best idea let me share with you a little story here there was this one guy he had a business credit line for one one million dollars but usually in these credit lines here's what happens the bank usually has an agreement that says that hey if we want to call it in we can call it in whenever we want and you have to pay back in 30 days now when they called in the credit line he had a million dollar credit line and he owed a million dollars because he used all of it now here's what happened he had to negotiate with the bank to actually extend the entire thing because he couldn't pay back all that one so what I'm saying here is this guys you don't want to rely on the bank, loans, credit cards, or anyone to keep your business going because in reality, that's not healthy and it's not a good objective to actually have a business that only relies and only runs because of debt. It's not a good idea whatsoever. So comment down below and let me know. And be honest, what would you do if the bank or your credit cards today called in all your debt? Would you be able to pay back? Would you not? Be honest because a lot of people out there, honestly, they wouldn't be able to pay back because they don't have the cash on hand. So comment down below let me know so now that we covered that let's jump in straight into the video and actually talk about the 10 steps you can actually follow to get your entire credit history and credit line actually set up now the first thing is this guys i did say it's going to take like three days but in reality it's going to take a little longer but the entire system here is only going to take around like what like an hour an hour and a half like it's really simple to actually do and even like 30 minutes you can actually like dedicate like 30 minutes of your time like fully to this entire system the reality is very easy to get this done so nothing to worry about here so the 10 steps are actually as follows now let's jump in the first step is this you want to get incorporated now why would you want to do this well imagine this if I walk into your business and I fall because I'm just like like you know I just fall all the time but now I want to sue well I can sue your business plus I can sue you because you have nothing to actually protect yourself so by having an LLC or a company or a corporation you can actually protect your own assets from liabilities so you want to make sure you're incorporated so then that way you have nothing to worry about in case they decide to slip and fall in your business okay because I will be doing that in the next month so make sure you're incorporated and you have an LLC because it's very important to actually get done now 
I do have a full video that shows you exactly how to start an LLC for free. I have the link down below in the description to so just check that out after the video if you want to. You guys should start an LLC for free, no problem there. You're welcome. Now, the second step you want to take is actually get an EIN number, which stands for Employer Identification Number. Now, this number, if you don't know what it is, it's basically like a social security number for your entire business. Now, here's the thing, guys. Whenever you go to apply for this, like online, like like legal Zoom or anything like that, they're gonna try to charge you money, like maybe like thirty bucks, sixty bucks. But in reality, you can do this for free. I have a link down below. It takes like fifteen minutes to actually apply, and it costs you no money whatsoever. So go apply yourself, and don't let anyone charge you to get an EIN number done because again, it's so simple, and it only takes around fifteen minutes to actually get this done. Again. This is the social security for your entire business. So whenever you apply for a credit card for your business, you're gonna use this number right here to actually get the entire thing running. Again, it's the social security for your business, just to clarify. Now, step number three, you wanna make sure you open a business check-ins account. Now, why would I want one of these, Tommy? Well, the answer is this, guys. By you having a separate business account for your entire business, it separates your business from your personal accounts, right? Now, when you do this, I have a little hack here, you can actually get some massive, massive returns. Now, why can you do this? Well, whenever you register for a business account, they usually have some massive sign-up bonuses. For example, when I register for Chase, I got back 300 bucks for doing the entire process just by leaving like like a thousand bucks in my account for 60 days. I use that money to cover all my LLC expenses. So. So I got it for free, honestly. Oh, and by the way, I have a link down below with the top business checking accounts in the market currently. So check that video out just in case you want to actually find out where you should actually open up a business checking accounts at. Now, step number four, guys, you want to make sure you make the entire thing official. Now, how do you do this? You want to establish a business address and also a business phone number. Here's my thing. If you don't have the money, just use like a text free number, like for free, you have like a second phone number here. And that way you can actually get around the entire thing. And now on top of that, if you don't have an address, just make sure to use the address where you run the business from, okay? On top of that, make sure you register on Google, on Angie's List, on Yelp, everywhere. So whenever that you search up your business, they can actually find it easily. Now, step number five, guys. You want to make sure you get a DUNS number. Now, tell me what is this and why is it so important? The answer is this. What is it first? It's a number that your trade lines are actually going to use to report your credit history and your payments too. You want to think about Experian, Equifax, basically the same thing, but basically just for your business side of things. So again, it's a DUNS number. You can apply for this for free. It takes between five to 30 days to actually get the entire system started. No problem there. Again, you don't have to pay anyone for this. Okay. It's free. I have a link down below. You can apply right now. No problem there. And again, this is the number they're going to use to report your credit history for your business. Again, it's called a DUNS number. You have to remember, I have a link down below. Don't worry about it. Now, step number six is this, guys. You want to make sure you establish trade lines with your suppliers. Now, how does this work and why is it so important, guys? Well, the trade lines are actually going to report all your history to your DMB sheet. On top of that, they're going to use your DUNS number to actually report everything. So then that way, whatever you order, your suppliers, make sure that you report everything to those things. So then that way, you can actually build more credit history with your business. And you might be asking, well, Tommy, what if I have an at-home business? I don't really do anything like that. Well, the answer is this, guys. I have a YouTube business, so I don't even need this, to be honest. But I can order print and paper. I can order a printer, a laptop, anything like that, okay? That way you can establish your entire credit history and have no problem there. Again, you don't need to remember any of this, okay? I have all the links down below with the suppliers and everything you actually need, okay? Everything is down there. Don't worry if you're getting overwhelmed. Now, step number seven, and you've probably been waiting on this one, and the answer is this. Get some business credit cards, okay? It's very important. Now, here's my thing. Whenever you get these credit cards, you have to be understanding. You need to take your social security number, meaning you're probably liable for the entire debt if you don't try to pay it back. So, for example, if I get a credit card for my business and I don't pay it back, well, they can probably come after me for that money. So, just make sure you understand that you don't want to spend money that you don't have because eventually they will come after you personally. Now, on top of that, you're just starting out. So, these credit cards that actually giving you, you're liable for them, but eventually they'll give you ones that you're not liable for. So, you don't have to worry about anything. But for right now, you're starting out. So, be patient and just build, build, build. And just don't buy anything that you don't really need. Now, step number eight, guys. You want to make sure if you borrow loans or borrow more money or get whatever you get, you want to make sure everything is being reported to Experian, Equifax, or even the DMB, okay? Everything you do has to be reported. So then that way, if you pay back on time, you want to make sure you're getting credit for that, all right? If you pay back in full, you want to make sure you're getting credit for that, right? So anything you do, you have to get credit for. So make sure you ask before you actually get the loan. Make sure you ask before you actually get the loan. Again, I'm going to repeat it again. Make sure you ask if you get the loan if everything you do is going to be reported to your business credit history. So just make sure you ask. 
Oh, and by the way, I have a few links down below to actually show you exactly where you can actually go to actually get these loans. I actually report everything to your entire credit history for your business. So just check the links down below. I have everything down there. You don't have to worry about anything again. Now, number nine, you're doing all this stuff. So you want to make sure you're tracking everything. So how do you do this? Well, for your personal credit, you can just go to Credit Karma. But for this, it's kind of different, right? And it's not really free, but it is free if you do what I'm telling you. So for example, if you go with Experian, they're going to charge you around $75 per report or I think like $400 for like four of them, right? So it's a lot of money, you don't wanna do that. Now, number two, Equifast, they're gonna charge you around 100 to $400 every single year to actually get all your information. Now, it's expensive also, you don't wanna do that. Now, number three, the DMB, if you do the DMB, they'll try to upsell you and you probably will fall for it because eventually they don't really give you all the information that you need. Now, number four, if you use NAV, N-A-V, they actually give you a summary, which is free. That way, it's actually better. It's kind of like, think like Credit Karma, but like for business, and then that way, you can actually keep track of everything. But for right now, N-A-V is actually my favorite one currently. So, check that out. I have a link down for everything down below. Now, step number 10, guys. You want to make sure whatever you borrow, you can pay back, and you borrow carefully and responsibly. For example, you don't want to end up like that guy in my story that owed like a million dollars and they called it in and then you have to pay back in like literally like less than 30 days. You don't want to be that guy. So make sure you borrow carefully and you only borrow what you need. Again, you're trying to build up credit, not build up debt. Just to clarify. So comment down below and let me know. Do you find these steps easy? Are they way too much? Comment down below. Let me know. If you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll be in the comments down below all day and I'll be answering everything you have to ask. Okay. Now, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I want to give you guys my final thoughts. And here they are. First thing is this. I will be doing all these steps and I'm already doing it right now. So I'm not giving you information that I want to try myself. On top of that, make sure you comment down below and keep me up to date with everything you're actually doing because that way, if you try something and if it works for you, maybe I can try it out for myself and it can work for me also. On top of that, I think I'll be getting the ink and the Capital One card to actually get started. I have a link down below for all this stuff. On top of that, guys, don't forget, you're building your credit history, not your debt. So don't get into unnecessary debt. I just want to clarify that. And if you watch this video to the end and you liked it, go ahead and like the video. Really appreciate it. On top of that, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which again is every single day. If you want to do me one-on-one, -on -one, uno a uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. I answer all my DMs. We're going to talk through there. And if you want to join us on Discord, join us on Discord, link down below. And if you want to watch more videos, click this video right here for more. And also, click my face right here to actually subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video that you're watching. And 